what we've got here today is a, uh, an example of a one-ended notch. We have uh, done a straight cut of 45 on this end, representing a, uh, say a weld on a flat part of your project. And I'm going to do a 90 at this end here. It's important to know where to cut it off here, so we, where we know to start our notch. This little handy jig called the uh, centerline finder uh, will help us to determine center line, which is quite often critical. And we know that it's, according to this jig, it's right here. It's important to know where the intersecting points are to know where to begin your cut. So we'll take this little, you know, let's do this right here, handy guide. And at 90 degrees, this is the point right where it intersects. Right there, I'll mark it thus. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and, <clears throat> according to the calculator, we need to cut that just 3 eighths of an inch from that end. That's where, and uh, that's the tube length, and then we'll begin our notch at that point here, right here, okay? Okay, according to the easy notch calculator, uh, it says to go in, begin the notch at 3 eighths of an inch. 0.38. So we're going to load it up here on the jaws. This is my mark, top center, and I can eyeball that pretty good right there. We have that center line finder if you need to be to put it on there to know exactly where it is. Now we'll go ahead and line this up here. Edge the holes off of that mark and make sure we're top dead center. Crank her down, everything's tight, <clears throat> and we're ready to go. dress this up now. Okay, we've got our notch. And position about my gig. And that's about where she needs to be. Just to hold on. 90 degrees, nice perfect notch, ready to weld. At our 45 at that end, and a 90 degree notch at that end. <clears throat> 